Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Miss Lena from Miss Lena's Kitchen. And I have a surprise. I'm getting ready to do my pig hat today. So first of all, I'm going to read my scripture. O Lord, thou art thy, my God, I exalt thee. I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy cancel of old faithfulness and truth. Isaiah 25 and 1. Thank you. God bless today. And I want to thank all of my new subscribers, all of my regular old subscribers, and all of my viewers for coming to my channel. And I appreciate you guys so much. And may God bless you today. So thank you. I'm getting ready to get started. And I will be using these ingredients that I have on the table. I have, a, uh, I'm sorry, I have about a 10-pound head pig head, okay? So I'm going to be using minced garlic, okay? And I'll be using Himalaya salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and onions. And I'm going to be first thing I'm going to do. I've turned the pig head over, and I'm going to start with the inside, and I'm going to be stuffing him with everything with my with my garlic, okay, minced garlic. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit out right here right now. Then I'm all right now. I'll be going. Going now, I'll be picking up my other stuff. Let me be getting my. Getting my salt together. Okay. Okay, black pepper. garlic powder, onion powder, okay, all right, and now, And I'm going to be stuffing it with the onions, okay? I've cut the onions up. Okay. Okay, now I'll be turning it over to season the top. I left a little piece open there. It's trying to maybe fall back. Okay. I'm trying to hold that piece together so I can turn it over. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take another piece of the onion. That's all I have. All right. I'm going to be sticking another part of the onion inside of the mouth. The tongue is still in there. I'm going to take little pieces of it and put it inside the ears also. Now on this side also. Now, I'll be doing the same thing with the, with my uh, minced garlic. Now, I'm going to be putting in, putting on
black pepper. Okay. I'm getting I'm putting a little patches of butter, little cups of butter, into one into the mouth. Okay. And one inside of each of the ears. And then I'll be putting, what did I see? I guess I'll just kind of just drop them a little bit on the nose and different things here. Little patches here and there. Okay. All right, y'all. So now I'm getting ready to put it in the oven and I'll be cooking it for three hours at two, at 200 degrees. Then I will take it out. Then I will cut it, cut it down. And she cooking it two hour, two, um, 200 for three hours. And then she'll cut it up to 350 and cook it another two, two hours. And then she'll cook the, the last um, 420 for the, the rest of the hour, hour and a half, two hours to make it crispy and crunchy. Okay, thank you. I'm getting ready to put it in the oven now. We'll be back once it's done. All right, now I am really back with my pig hat. It is tremendously beautiful. And it's about a, a 15 or 20 pound pig hat. And I'll tell you, it came out just so beautiful. Now, I am I don't eat a lot, I don't eat pork. And this is really going to be good, but I know it's good. But I'm, when I finish, I'm going to take just a little bite of it. And that's about it. And I'm going to be uh, doing it. I'm going to do, pass it on to someone else that eat pork. But I wanted you to see this because this is something that my one of my grandmothers made many years ago. And I remembered how they made it. And so I decided I would try this to see could I do it like they did in the oven except at the time they had a, had a wood oven and I have an electric oven and that make, makes a little difference. So. It makes a whole lot of difference, y'all. So it's probably why the color is not as red as it should be because we do have a electric oven, so. And you don't understand the electric oven like they did in the old time when they had, older times when they were using a wood oven was totally different. But I did it anyway and I know it tastes good. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to let you see the back because there's a lot of meat inside the back also. I'm just going to turn it over a little bit. And it has cooked real good. It and it's almost, like, it's almost like a ham, really. So that's the only thing. So you can see the inside of it also. So that's the way it looks on the inside. So I'm going to cut just a little piece off. And this is kind of like... It's awfully fat also, but there is some meat in there. Look at there. It's almost like a little pork chop or a pork roast. So therefore, now I'm going to be trying. I may try it. This one is pretty fat. Ooh, it's hot too. And it's, it's very lean and it's very tender. It's really tender. So Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot, but it's fat and it's tender. So. I'm going to just take a little bite off of this piece. But I want you to see this is really where the meat is than any place else, okay? It's hot. Mm. Mm. It tastes like ham. It's really good. You like ham? It's good. So this is cut off. It's like you have a, a ham. 
It's very good. And you can also use this. Uh, you can use the crust for making um, a crackling cornbread if you want uh, crackling bread or you can put it back in the oven take all this and just make you like cracklings okay if you like all this fat that's what it's good for so it's very good and i want you all if you all ever decide that you want to do something like this try it and see because there's a lot of meat here and it really tastes like ham it's very very good Although I just can't eat a lot of it, but I can taste it. So I want you to see exactly how it is. And it's very tender and everything. That down there looks like bacon. Okay. Yeah, there's bacon down there. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is like a, this is like a, a bacon down here. So I guess once they cut it, they can, you know, make your bacon out of it because it's very greasy and everything. But it's really, that it looks like it's uh, a bacon that you can borrow with. So this is good. If you find this out, and this looks like a, it's cutting it out that you see what we have here. But this is almost like a ham on the inside. So this is very, very good. And it has a wonderful taste. And I tell you, it has a wonderful taste. It's like the ham. It really does. And it's very seasonable and it's very and it's very delicious. I'm gonna take another little bite of it so you can see. Hot. <laughs> mm hmm It's really off the chain. I wouldn't tell you to tell. If you ever want to try it, it's very good to try to cook with. So if you this is the bone right here. So but this, there is a lot of meat in this hog, in this uh, pig head. Now, I just want you to see what I have here. And I know you can take the fat off of it. And, and people, they use, use it to cook it with greens and all stuff also. Yeah. You can use it. All your vegetables, everybody can have pork. If you can use it, use it to cook your pork with. It's very good to do that for, with Although I don't, we don't use a lot of pork because we're not eating pork. But for anybody that decides to want to do it, this is one good way to have your own pork and have your own, it cooks your greens or whatever that you would like, just like you would if you have your ham hocks. And all that's just garlic that she put in there. Hmm. I was just telling them that's garlic. Oh yeah, garlic. I had put a lot of uh, garlic. Yeah, like, uh, what minced garlic was in here. So I have it all cooked up with minced garlic and a lot of stuff that's in here. So I just want you to know and see what you have here. Now this is a bone, that's kind of like a ham bone, but that's in the head. So, but it's, there's a bone right there. And I'll go, you have the, the ears also. You can make your pig ears also, if you would like. If you so desire your pig ears, you can boil them by themselves. And there's meat underneath the ball of, a, of your pig ears also. So there's your seat, you have your lean meat there also. So this is very good. And you can also take these and put your barbecue sauce on them and make your uh, pulled pork, chop, you know, chop, chop pork for, uh, uh, for uh, I guess you would say, uh, a, a chop pork burger or whatever you want. But this is very good. So I wanted you all to see how my pig head was coming out. And it's very good. It's very tasty. I just can't eat a lot of it, but I did take a little bit. So to all of my uh, subscribers and all the new ones, all the old ones, I finally made the pig head. So now you guys see. Thank you so much for Miss Lena's Kitchen. Next time she make it, she's going to make whole head cheese. Huh? I thought next time it'll be whole head cheese you make it. Yes. The next one I will do my whole head cheese out of. This one, I wanted to see it how it, was ro how it would roast out like the days when my grandmother did. So I thank you so much. May God bless you all. For Miss Lena's Kitchen, a pig head that is now ready to go. And you can see what you can do with it if you decide to buy one and roast it. There is plenty of things that you can do after it's roasted. So love you all from Miss Lena's Kitchen with all my love. Goodbye.